Second game of our triple header is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, two losing streaks at stake here as PCU takes on New Era University. Noel Zarate still alongside Anthony Servino with Crystal Bachelor a little later on. And of course, we all know that PCU, after winning their first two encounters, have now dropped three straight, whereas New Era is 0-4 and four coming into this matchup. Yes, of course, one streak has to win today. Of course, one team will finally celebrate after a long search for a victory. Of course, let's talk about first about uh, PCU, Noel. You said they're only three-game losing streak. Well, you can say that the schedule was kind to PCU at the start. Mm -hmm. well, they had a relatively light schedule at the beginning, but when they started to face the uh, big guns of the NASCO, that's when uh, they started their losing streak. Well, they almost defeated CEU. CEU, uh, of course, came from behind, forced overtime, and then defeated them there. And then they came off two really bad losses. As we take a look at our updated team standings right now, RTU and CEU on top of the leaderboard right now and PCU still with a chance to get that twice to beat advantage in the yes. quarterfinals. That's very important because all they need is a win against their opponent and they are in the semifinals. Not bad for a team that is on its second year in the league. Well, New Era, of course, coming off a better performance in their last losses. We take a look at the starting lineup for both teams. For PCU, noticeably absent from their starting lineup, Ives Sazon. And uh, we were just informed by Coach Elvis Tolentino he did not injure his knee. He has a major ankle sprain on yes. his left foot and will not be seeing action today but coach Elvis says we can't discount it he might play of course uh, to address that he, he is putting in Ray Charles Vasquez at the uh, small forward position to uh, replace Ives Sazon meanwhile we can see on the other hand for coach Adonis Chela and his hunters well standard issue starting five well, Pamat is getting a lot of minutes yes. now. Of course, Ilarde Bebit played very well. Ilarde is still a staple in that starting lineup for New Era. So in just a few moments, we will have the uh, jump ball in our second matchup. So when we return, it will be the Dolphins taking on the Hunters here at the 15th season of the NASCO. Just about ready to get underway, ladies and gentlemen. PCU in white and a new era university in the uh, dark blue. As the action continues from the Makati Coliseum. First quarter with uh, Noel Zarate here and Anthony Servino on the call. Ilarde going up against Palatau. To get things going here. First offense going to new era. New era has also brought their own fans into the building. Here's Resetes, first attempt of the game, is a miss. And the rebound picked up here by Ray Charles Vasquez. So, uh, Cream Malto setting it up. Vasquez, three-pointer is off. Julius Leron starting together with uh, Brent Palatao. That's an interesting uh, combination for Elvis Tolentino using his two big men from the get-go. Well, perhaps the coach Tolentino wants to uh, assert their height advantage over New Era. Of course, New Era front line is really thin. Now, after Brian Ilardi and Mark, Mark Kabakungan, not much uh, after that. Leron missing on his first free throw. Of course, both teams, as we mentioned earlier, on a losing streak. PCU losing their last three. New Era has not won so far but of course new era wants to get that all-important win right now to uh, make sure that they stay alive at least in the quarterfinals and remember this is pcu's last game already of the prelims yes and if if one thing about this noel no, if ever you no know, uh Ives Sazon would have enough time to rest this injury before their next game ilarde on the spin traveling good defense there coming from ion ion of course, Noel, regardless of the result of today's game for PCU, win or lose, they are in the playoffs. Yes. The question is, you know, what will be their position? Will they have, will they have a twice-to-beat advantage or will they have a, a uh, or do they have to overcome the disadvantage? A miss from the outside by Ion Iron coming off a season-high 32 points in their last game. Bebit gets it to Resetes. Resetes on the drive. Resetes lets it fly. Still no basket. Here's Ion Ion into the front court. Vasquez trying another three, a miss. So Vasquez, more of a defensive specialist, trying to get the Ives Sazon numbers early. Yes, he is taking the shots that are usually reserved for Ives Sazon in the place. Resetes now gets a pick for Makindele. 
They go out to Pamat. Bebit on the drive. Bebit drops it off to Ilarde. Not ready for the pass. Here comes Vasquez now into the front court. Vasquez airborne. Vasquez can't get it to go. Ion Ion with the trail job. Getting the offensive rebound. Here's Palatao. Vasquez, his third triple attempt of the period. He's attempted three three-pointers in a span of less than two minutes. Bebit gets to the line. And no field goals for both teams so far But I like the attitude uh, displayed by Coach Elvis Tolentino Though Before the game, we talked to Coach Tolentino He said he does not uh, worry about the absence of Ives Sazon He is confident that one of his Dolphins will step up today in his and, absence And the question is, who will it be? Of course, Vasquez inserted into the starting lineup Bebit can't get the first free throw to go Of course, we all know that Ion Ion can put up those numbers as well Coming off 32 points. But I think it's obvious. Maybe it's obvious that Michael Ion Ion would definitely love to trade those 32 points for the win. Nice pass by Akindele, but Bebit cannot shoot. They go out now to Pamat. Pamat's pass. Broken up by Vasquez. That's what he's known for, his defense. Palatao. Trying to do a point guard. Primalto. Ion Ion puts it on the floor. Ion Ion has it picked. Malto, Palatao against two. Still no field goals for either squad. And back to the free throw line goes Vasquez. And I like the energy inserted by Vasquez here. Trying to uh, get the offense kick started. Three three point attempts already here in the first period. Now he has his first attempts at the free throw line. Of course, uh, again, no, no free field goals for either side today. You mentioned Vasquez to be a defensive specialist. Well, since Sazon will not be. Uh, playing today unless of course really needed you know Vasquez will probably think that you know maybe we can win this game through defense well he has been doing a good job defensively and he has been making his free throws as well so two for two three zero PCU here's Resetes Bebit gets a pick for Makindeli once again Resetes Way short on the three. Rimalto now into the front court. Vasquez. Ion Ion. Going cross court now. Vasquez, his fourth three point attempt of the period. I've never seen him attempt more than one in one game. Malto for three. And here comes Resetes. Three white shirts back on defense. He will set it up. Resetes. Bebit now. And that will be stepping on the baseline called against Abne uh, Abner Absin. But I think uh, Vasquez has the confidence of the coaching staff because, you know, after all those misses, there is still no uh, sign to replace him or any of the players on the floor for that matter for PCU. And no chiding from Elvis Tolentino as well. Yes. So it looks like it is a design play to get uh, Ray Charles Vasquez involved in the offense early. Vasquez, three-point attempt number five. And the recovery made by New Era. And to the front court, Bringas who just checked in gets the foul from Primalto. Substitution. JB Danka will see his first action of the game. Also interesting in the starting lineup for PCU, there is no Dexter Mescaliado as well. Yes, uh, that's another adjustment. Instead, it's uh, Julius Leron who got the call right. as the starting uh, power forward. Bring us. Swings it around. Luis Bondoc seeing his first action. Brian Ilarde on the turnaround. Finally a field goal for Nuira. Yes, after four minutes. The first field goal by either side. You remember when uh, New Era went up against Our Lady of Fatima University, by the four-minute mark, they were already down 12-0. Well, Noel, this New Era team, no, they are very notorious for uh, slow starts. Can't afford that today as they try to pick up their first win. Vasquez, after five three-point attempts, missed, finally is replaced here by Dexter Mescaliado. Danka lost his footing. Recovery now by Bondok. Bondok now into the front court. 
Bondok all the way. Bondok turned back that time by Mescaliado. Recovery made now by Absin. Or make that bring us. Bondok. Here's Absin. Shot clock at three. Bondok lines it up. Three pointer short. Rebound to Ion Ion. Ion Ion now into the front court. JB Danka, confident stroke from 20. And a loose ball foul will be called on Akindele. That's team foul number four against New Eras. Ilardes hits down. Kabakungan will see his fa first action. So the only player who scored for New Era, Brian Ilarde, is given a rest. Uh, interesting uh, strategy here by Coach Chera. Inbound now for Ion Ion. Mescaliado fakes. Ion Ion for three. That is good. Hey, and don't look now. He has doubled the score of uh, PCU. Well, it is six to two right now. Bondok. Open for three. Cannot retaliate. Akindele taps it over. Bondok. Dangerous pass. Bring us resets for New Era. Time down to four and a half remaining here in our first period. Kabakungan. Four seconds to shoot. Strip there. And here comes Ion Ion. Foul given up by Bondok. But that will give two free throws to Michael Ion Ion as New Era is over the limit. Well, I guess uh, Michael Ion Ion, uh, one of the things on his agenda, he probably wants to replicate his 32, perfor 32 point performance of the last outing. Well, Ion Ion already with three points across his name today. As uh, Majed Postigo sees his first action. Ion Ion, of course, did a lot of damage from the free throw line in their last game. Good on two here. Five points. So 8-2 to two PCU. Absin, Postigo with the pick. Wide open, Luis Bondok for three. Yes! So now the three-point shooting is starting to click for both sides. PCU still ahead though. Four minutes remaining here in our first period. Danka, Ion Ion gets it over to Mescaliado. Shot clock at nine. Danka drops it off to Julius Leron who scores. And a rare offensive uh, display there by Julius Leron. Well, he's got three in the game. We'd like to thank our friends from ATC Sports for making the coverage of the 15th Naasku a reality. That's right, the best reality show on TV, the That's Naasku. Right. Postigo turned back by Leron who's making a good account of himself here in the first period. Ion, Ion! Seven points in the game. So uh, if you struggle from the three-point distance, they get struck to the hoop for the higher percentage. 12-5, the lead is now seven for the Dolphins. Approaching three minutes remaining in our first period. Absin almost picked off. Bring us, penetrates, bring us, yes! So the substitute, uh, Joshua, bring us with uh, some uh, positives for New Era. That's his first basket of the game. And cuts the lead down to five. Under three minutes to play in our first period. Ion Ion from deep. Palatao keeps it alive to Danka. Mescaliado on the fake. Mescaliado on the penetration. Out to Danka. Ion Ion does not want to shoot the three. Instead gets a baseline jumper to go. He has nine first period points. And I like what Michael Ion Ion is doing. He is not, uh, well, he is uh, not uh, gun shy, but... You know, he is at least selecting his shots now. Right. He's taking better shots. Absin. Chance of NEU from the crowd. Deep three by Bondok. He's got two in the game. Well, we have a shootout developing here at the Makati Coliseum. Right. Luis Bondok cuts the lead down to four with two minutes remaining in our first period. Ion Ion. Is there retaliation coming from Danka? No. And this goes to bring us ahead to Bondok, but it is stolen by Danka. Ion Ion misses the, the 20 footer. And Palatao cannot keep it alive. It goes back to New Era. Nemesis de la Cruz seeing his first action. 
the rookie for New Era. Yes, of course, again, one of the best names that we have here in the NAS. <laughs> Can he be the nemesis of the Dolphins today? Love the pink shoes, by the way. Bring us nemesis 4 3. Way short, but nobody there to stop Kabakungan. And uh, Julius Leron acknowledging his uh, mistake. Leron might be slowing down actually uh, after playing all these minutes here in the first period as Danka nearly lost it, but the foul on Luis Bondoc. And Leron sits as Vasquez returns, so a smaller lineup now for PCU. Of course, this small lineup has uh, done wonders for PCU with uh, Palatao no, as the uh, lone big man. And a stretch four in uh, Mescaliado as Danka missed the first free throw. One minute and 19 remaining in our first period. Danka splits. The lead is three for PCU. This is actually one of the better starts for New Era. Yes. De La Cruz. A challenge three. Bondoc missing that time. Vasquez with it. Danka to the side to Ion Ion. Palatao. Vasquez, three-point attempt number six. Still nothing for Ray Charles Vasquez, but PCU keeps possession. Of course, well, this is a short tournament. That's why there's very little room for adjustments for these teams. Vasquez this time puts it on the floor. Finds Palatao. Gets it out to Ion Ion, who cannot handle the pass. Out to Danka. Shot clock at two, and Danka will lose possession. It's very clear that JB Danka... Losing his balance. Well, first the kick out pass to Ion Ion wasn't actually ideal. Here's De La Cruz. Bondok finds Kabakungan. Bondok weaving through traffic. His pass tapped away. Ion Ion now into the front court. Two second differential between shot clock and game clock. PCU wants the last shot. Mascaliado attracts a double team. Vasquez, his seventh three-point attempt is still a miss. And almost a steal by Ion Ion, but it will stay with New Era. Well, all these misses by Vasquez is giving uh, scoring opportunities to New Era. Well, New Era now with a chance to tie with the three. 6.4 remaining. Bondocks already got two of them. And that is batted out by Ion Ion. Substitution, Grimalto checks back in to replace Vasquez. 3.6 to play. Nemesis takes it. He will miss it. And at the end of the first 10 minutes of action, it is PCU, the Philippine Christian University, up by three against New Era University 15 to 12. Second period when we return. As we begin our second period, we have a close one here at the Makati Coliseum. 15 for the Philippine Christian University, 12 for New Era University. Noel Zarate alongside Anthony Servino with Crystal Bachelor. And again, one losing streak comes to an end today. PCU getting seven three-point attempts yes. from Ray Charles Vasquez in that first period. I don't know if that's part of the game plan, Anthony. Yes, that's the thing, Noel, that stands out in my memory after that first period of Ray Vasquez firing away from the three-point distance but uh, with no success but yet he has enjoyed the confidence of the coaching staff. However, the story of the first period for PCU was Michael Ion Ion who came away with nine points in that period as we begin the second. Palatao and Ion Ion have not seen any rest for PCU. Mescaliado came off the bench today. His jumper is short. Mescaliado tries to follow that up. It's bothered by the defense of Nuira. Bring us Brian Ilarde back in the game. Luis Bondoc has two triples across his name. Gets it to De La Cruz. Inside to Ilarde. Ilarde on the spin. Yes! 
And again, that's the move of Bryony Larder. That's his second field goal of the game and the lead is down to one. Highest at seven. Dangerous pass. Ion Ion, now in double figures, but wait a minute. They will wave it off. Yes. Offensive foul on Michael Ion Ion. Very clear, Michael Ion Ion warding off with his offhand. And now Andrew Katipay sees his first action to replace JB Danka, Coach Elvis. Here it is again. Oh, oh yeah, yes, it's a late ward clear, off. Very clear, very clear. De La Cruz on the drive, no. Elarde puts it on the floor. And that's what Coach Norman Black always says. If you're 6'5", why become 5'9"? Yes. When yes. you get the rebound, put it up again, put it up strong. You don't have to dribble the ball for your next shot. Yes, because of that, if, if, if the big man does that, it will open the chance for the little men to swipe the right. ball away. Luckily for New Era, they retain possession. Bondok has the license to shoot. Goes to De La Cruz first. Bondok squares up. Bondok will miss. Iron Iron with the rebound. Katipay, Iron Iron. Good ball movement here by PCU. Iron Iron. Mescaliado, this time on a set shot. And Palata with the offensive rebound. Ball is tapped, recovered in the backcourt. Oh, hold on. They call a backcourt violation. Of course, Katipay claiming that a uh, hunter tapped the ball from his hand. Magkalas checks in for the first time now for the Hunters. So bring us over to De La Cruz. Gets a pick from Magkalas. De La Cruz off balance. No. Rebound to Mescaliado. Mescaliado starting the break. Ion Ion finishes the break. He's got 11 in the game. Hey, look, Michael Ion Ion with 11 and the whole New Era side with 14. So Ion Ion trying to make up for the absence of Ives Sazon with his scoring. Blocking foul on Mescaliado or on Malto rather. You know, perhaps the mindset right now of Michael Ion Ion, if I have to score 40 or more to win this game, then why not? Well, he is on pace for that actually right now with 11 points early here in the second period. Bondock's got six. Bondock to the side. Bondock left open for three. His third triple of the game. It is Ion Ion versus Bondock and the score is tied at 17, Anthony. Malto cannot retaliate. New Era now looking for their first lead. Bring us has kept Bebit on the bench. Ilarde with the left hand. New Era now on top. From being seven points down in the first period, the Hunters have now clawed their way back. They are now on top, 19 to 17. Timeout, Elvis Tolentino will be right back. Time down to 7 and 22 remaining here in the first half. New Era University, fueled by its crowd and fueled, of course, by Brian Ilarde, has now put up this uh, 19 to 17 lead over the PCU Dolphins. Noel Zarate is still alongside Anthony Servigno. You can see Coach Adonis Tierra and Coach Elvis Tolentino getting very busy with their playboards. But PCU, Anthony, was up 12 to 5 at one point. That was their biggest lead of the game. And all of a sudden, uh, Luis Bondoc getting his three-point shooting going. Of course, capped by that beautiful uh, basket by Brian Ilarde. Good movement without the ball, making that shot possible. So it is 19-17. PCU is down by two. And I think, well, uh, New Era made that run when Coach Tolentino decided to put in a small lineup. And the small lineup still exists right now with Katipay, Ion Ion, and uh, Malto there. Ion Ion skying high. 
almost getting the follow-up. Boy, Ion Ion just went over everyone that time. The foul on Ilarde. And again, well, like what I said earlier, no? if Michael Ion Ion needs to score 40 points or more to win today, he will do it. Oh, look at that. That's just height on the uh, elevation. Just unlucky not to get the follow-up. But Ion Ion has been uh, doing well from the free throw line. He's perfect today, 3 of 3. And remember, in their last game, Ion Ion struggled early from the line. And as we say that, he misses his first free throw. But Katipai tracks it down. Ion Ion, good with the jumper. 14 in the game. And a steal from PCU. Dolphins up by one. Katipai getting it out to Ion Ion. And away from the ball, offensive foul on Brent Palatau. And that's a very useless foul by Brent Palatau. He has to take care of his fouls. Remember, he is the main center of PCU. And he has not had any rest in this game. He and Ion Ion. Elarde felt a bump. No whistle was called. Mescaliado is now collecting a lot of rebounds for this small lineup. A tap by Bringas. A steal by Bringas. A basket by Bringas. And he will get to the line on the foul on Katipay. Wow, Bringas has been silently efficient as Bautista and Danka check back in. Let's take a look at that one again. Yes, an obvious foul now by Katipay. Katipay takes huh? a seat, yeah. Lead back to New Era. And Joshua Bringas makes it a two point lead. So, 6-23 and 23 to play in the first half. Ion Ion going over to Malto. Nice cut underneath. And that is Dexter Mescaliado getting the basket. Here's Pamat. They send it to bring us. Bondok fakes the three. He's really getting respect from the defense now. And that is short from Bondok. Pass ahead to Malto and Malto. Could not contain it. Tied at 22. Resetes checks back in. This is a chance now for PCU as uh, Bondok takes his rest. Yeah, but Resetes has also been trying that three-point shot earlier. Pamat gets a pick from Agalas. Drops it inside. Akindele on the turnaround. Loose ball picked up here by Bautista. And that is tapped. New Era will get it back. Bodies flying everywhere. Resetes. Bringas. 